It's time for more pro bike action and I'm at the UAE Tour and this is the Pinarello Dogma F, the bike of Luke Platt, Australian road race champion. Also, rider for the Ineos Grenadiers. I'm gonna take you through all the details of the bike, pick out any cool little facts and bits that I can see. Then we're gonna weigh it, measure it, and do that all important free up sound check. Being Australian road race champion, we've got a custom paint job on this bike. We've got a pearl white finish with these flashes of green and yellow on the forks. I really like that. The bike is built up with the latest Shimano Dura Ace 9200 group set, disc brake of course, and matched up to the frame are the Shimano Dura Ace C50 wheels. These are 50 millimeters deep and feature tubular tires on them. These are the Continental Competition Pro Limited. These are the ALX versions, which are the ones that you or I can't buy, but what all the pro teams are using. Now to stop the valves from rattling, we've got some really cool little custom stickers here with the Ineos Grenadiers logo on. Matched up to the wheels are the disc brake rotors. These are the Dura Ace versions. On the front, we have a 160 millimeter rotor, and on the rear, we have a slightly smaller 140 millimeter. Moving to the center of the bike, we've got this Dura Ace power meter. This is the dual sided model and the latest version that's released. The chain rings are a 54 for the large chain ring and a 40 tooth for the inner one. The cranks are 172.5 millimeters long and then fitted just behind the cranks, we've got this aluminum chain catcher also with an integrated magnet to help make the power meter pick up and read the cadence. Now, if you look closely, just behind the chain set, we've got a really neat little 3D printed chain guide and guard. This is to protect the chain stay because we're running these slightly larger chain rings. And as such, it looks like the mechanics have had to shave a little bit of material off that to make sure it clears that large inside chain ring, which is a 40 tooth. Moving to the rear of the bike, we have an 11 to 30 tooth cassette. Now, interestingly, we've got this really nicely designed one piece mech hanger. This removes that additional pivot point and adds a little bit of strength into the system. So we've got the most crisp and precise shifting. No fancy oversized pulley wheels here, but the cage of the rear mech is made from carbon fiber. Moving up from the rear of the bike, we've got the Physique Argo saddle. This is 140 millimeters wide. And as we see on all of the factory options of the Dogma F, we've got this really cool 3D printed titanium clamp at the top. And this is one of the differences and upgrades that was made over the previous model, so the F12. The saddle was fitted with carbon fiber rails and has a large central cutout. Moving down from the saddle, we have the race number holder held in place with some neat little rubber bands to hold that from moving and slipping down. And similar to what we have holding the valves in place on the wheels, we've got a little Ineos Grenadiers sticker just located on the seat post so the mechanics know whether the seat post is in exactly the correct place or maybe it's slipped. Just underneath that, we've got a neat little sticker representing his name, Luke Platt, I like that. Moving to the front of the bike, we've got a one-piece carbon bar and stem. This is a most branded version, which is Pinarello's in-house brand. This one is 130 millimeters long and the bars are 420 millimeters wide. Now, interestingly, a standard sort of Ineos little trick and tip for the bar tape is not to wrap it with electrical tape, but cut it to exactly the right measurement so that they can just put a little bit of glue underneath to hold it in place. And it gives a really nice sleek finish on the top and is sort of a, a standard trademark for the Ineos Grenadiers mechanics, shall we say? Displaying all of Luke's data is a Garmin 830 head unit. This is mounted to a Pinarello Most aluminium head unit mount and is neatly designed to tuck underneath of the handlebars. And then moving down from the handlebars, we can see this small section of inner tube here. This is just an old section cut off and then slid over the fork leg and it allows the mechanics to put the race timing chip underneath that and hold it securely in place and make it as aerodynamic as possible. Finishing the bike off are the Elite Legero carbon bottle cages and Shimano's latest Dura Ace pedals. Right, onto some of the measurements of this bike. So Luke Platt runs a saddle height of 78 centimeters. The nose of the saddle to the center of the handlebars is 61 centimeters. 
and the drop from the nose of the saddle to the center of the handlebars is 11 centimeters. Right, let's get this thing on the scales of truth. 7.16 kilograms, oh, nice. Free up sound check, let's get this thing up to speed. Lovely. So there you have it, the bike of Luke Plapp, the Australian road race champion. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And why not let me know what you think of this bike in the comments section down below. And to see more cool bikes like this and more racing action, subscribe to GCN Racing.